Hi, uh, my name is Ivan, and in this video, I would like to show you how to use the image comparison uh, in Galen Framework. Uh, for those that don't know, Galen Framework is a layout testing uh, framework for web pages. So the image comparison was added like in the version 1.3, and since that time, I didn't write any articles about that. But it's actually quite a powerful feature, and I would like to show you uh, what can be done with that one. So, uh, to start with it, just go to the website and uh, go to the Gillen Spec Language Guide. And uh, here you can find this image. And um, this is it. Basically, uh, it allows you to compare the page elements. Um, it, it allows you to uh, compare the image of the page element on page with the predefined image sample. So you define um, a sample here, a path to uh, image sample. And what Galen Framework will do is it will create a screenshot of the page and will then take the area only for the specific element under test. And then it will compare pixel to pixel uh, with the sample image. And then you can uh, define some settings, like in this case, uh, error 12 pixels, that means that if uh, more than 12 pixels are misaligned, a mismatching, uh, then it will um, tell you that there's an error. By default, if you don't use that, it's zero pixels. So if at least one pixel is uh, mismatching, then it will give you an error. Uh, but there's one question that you might ask is, uh, how do we prepare the image uh, samples? And just for that reason, I have also implemented the uh, page dump feature, also in version 1.3, um, which you can find, uh, let me go up, which you can find in this running Galen section. Here, creating a page dump. What page dump is doing is it uh, uses the, um, the spec file in which it actually only uses the uh, object definition because it needs to know how to find the elements on the page. And then you provide a URL and the size of the browser and then it will open up the browser. It will get all the defined elements on, on this in, from the spec and it will also take the screenshot and then it will prepare and it will cut the uh, images of each page element on the page, uh, which is actually quite good. And uh, you can use it from the command line or you can also use it from from here, from the test suite. Here's this section, page them like this. Or you can also use it from the JavaScript. Here, if you're using the JavaScript test, then you can find it here. It's called dump page. Um, so let me show you how to work with it. So I have prepared the uh, test the, the test app uh, for uh, showcasing uh, of Galen framework and then um, we can uh, try it out in here so let's just for now let's just only test this uh, home menu item uh, but but uh, where but also I can I can show you something more that page dump provides so then I will also define some more elements. So first of all, I'm going to create the, I'm going, I'm going to create the uh, project, and then I will create a um, file homepage.spec, in which I will define some objects. For this video, we only need one, but I'm going to define more because I want to show you something interesting. So we'll define a header. The ID is header. Then the menu also has thing ID menu. And I will also define menu items. Check. U L Lee, okay, like this. 
So actually this is already enough. So now we can create a page dump. So at this moment we only have one file, homepage.spec. What I'm going to do is this. Galen dump. Then I'll specify which spec file we are going to use. Then the URL. I'll just copy this URL. Then I will define a size. And the uh, destination folder. Home page dump. That's it. So what it will do now, it will open the uh, it will open the browser and it will uh, fetch the elements on the page and it will create this folder home page dump. If we go there you will see uh, the page JSON which contains the which contains the all the all the elements and uh, their properties. And then you will see this page HTML. So let's open it in the browser. So here how it looks like. So it, it has created the screenshot and it then highlights the elements on the page. And if we click an element, then we will see the details. A name, area, the text of the element, and then the image. And this image actually comes from this from this folder objects. As you can see, we have all the uh, images for each element, which is actually quite cool because now we can reuse that for our image uh, image comparison spec. But what is what is more there in this page dump is that it actually uh, suggests uh, you some specs if you select more than one element and in this case it gives us suggestions that the menu item one how it could be tested that basically the menu item one is aligned horizontally all with menu item two and it's near menu item two by four pixels to the left so which is actually quite cool and if we select more then you will see more suggestions like for instance header is above menu um, let's select more even so sometimes it gives you some useless uh, specs, like for instance, it suggests you to test menu item one with menu item three or four, which doesn't make any sense, but it's uh, like very basic. It, it has a very dumb algorithm. Uh, so this is quite useful because if you want to know uh, exact destination, exact uh, distance between uh, objects on the page, you can use this page dump. So now let's uh, now let's try to test uh, this image comparison thing. So I will go up. Now I I'm gonna copy the uh, uh, the uh, uh, screenshot for the menu item one. Yes. And uh, I'm not going to test it on different sizes and devices, just we'll do it only on desktop. So this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot, forgot the file. So that's it. This should work. <coughs> So now I'm not going to prepare the test suites. I will just run. The, I will just check it right from the command line. Given check on page dot spec. Gain the URL. The size and the HTML report. As you can see, the test ha is passed. That's that's uh, clear because we just reused the same image, and it's on the on the browser, it's exactly the same. Um, if we open the reports, then you can find it there. But there's nothing interesting at the moment. It's just like a regular spec. So you can click it and just see the object, but you don't see anything else. 
but now I'm gonna show you something really interesting. So if we now change the test object to two, menu item two, just on purpose, I wanna show you how it shows you the failure and run the test again. It gives us a failure. Then you can see the error message. Um, I'll just show you in the reports. Element does not look like menu item 1.png. There are 1000 mess matching pixels, but max loud is zero. And if you click this link, by the way, this link is only visible when there's a failure and only for this image uh, comparison spec. So you will see this actual image, my notes, which is for the menu item two, and the expected, which was supposed to be for menu item one. And then you see this comparison map. So what it does, it actually compares pixels to pixels. It makes a difference and then in di a difference uh, in color. And then if that difference is higher than a tolerance value, then it puts this pixel and if it's less then it's put uh, and it puts a black pixel so in our case we have these uh, green yellow and the red pixels which they also have a meaning basically the green pixels it's like the um, uh, difference is quite it means that the difference uh, in color is quite close to the tolerance so it means that if you increase a little bit the tolerance then these green pixels should go away and the red pixel mean that it's far away from the tolerance value. So for instance, if the tolerance is 30, then this red pixel represents, I don't know, above 80 or 100. I don't really rem remember. So now let me show you some more cool thing. Um, I'm going to change back our test object to one. But here, here's the, the trick. As you can see, there's the uh, actually, I'm not sure if you can see the if you will see this on the video, but uh, on this website, on the menu and on the header, there's a noise background. And the thing is, if I resize the browser, then the link, then the text and links, they are kind of like floating above the noise. So it's it means that on different sizes, the screenshot and the noise position will be different. It means that if I if it makes a difference, then there will be some uh, there, there will be some mismatching pixels. And uh, to highlight that, that to show you that thing, I will actually de uh, decrease the tolerance because by default it's uh, it's thirty. Then I will put twenty. So now if I'm going to run the tests. <coughs> Oh, oh yeah, it's passed. But the trick is, I'm using the same the same size because I I use the same size for the page dump, and here I use the same size, so the noise background is the same. So let's just increase the size, uh, the width of the browser. Now it should give us a failure. Yes, it does give a failure, and you see this. There are 273 mismatching pixels. Let's take a look what that thing is actually is and um, let's see very nice picture looks like some stars uh, so it's a lot of green pixels and it's clearly it's it's clear to us that the image the images are the same for our eyes we don't see the difference but Galen notices these things and we would like to avoid these kind of failures and fail only if it's a, like a real issue. So there's an interesting uh, uh, there is an interesting feature for image comparison, which is called filters. If you look at the documentation, you will see that you can use uh, image filters. So basically, you can apply uh, filters separately for actual image, expected image, and to a map, to a comparison map, uh, or you can apply it to both. And uh, it uh, allows you to manipulate the image before it's going to check it. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. 
let's change the home page and spec and put this map filter denoise and let's put let's put I don't know, one So what it will do now, it will try, it will remove the, uh, it will try to remove the noise from the picture, and we we'll still see the same failure. So okay, let's increase the size. Okay, so now we see this. There are three mismatching pixels. That's already good. Let's open the reports and see the picture. Okay, so we have only these three pixels left, they are on the edge, uh, and it has removed all the other noise. So what we can do now, we can actually just, okay, in this case, uh, I think it's okay to introduce the, uh, to increase the error, range, uh, error rate, let's put it to, let's say, five pixels, uh, approximately. Uh, we can also increase the the denoise uh, parameter to three or four or whatever. So basically, what this parameter represents is the uh, size of the noise that should be size of the grain of the noise that could be removed from from the map map from the comparison map. So let's run it now. Okay, the test ha is passed. So, and now there's uh, another bad version of the website that I also added, which has some bugs. Let's see if Galen will catch an error there. I add it like this, bad version. Just add bad version in the URL and then it will give you a different version. Okay, failure. 59 mismatching pixels, but max allowed is 5. Let's see what was the error there. Notice this. Instead of O, we have a Q. So Galen actually catches this. Uh, issue. It's a real bug on the website and catches even though we use this denoise filter that removes the little grains of noise. Because if now if we go to the test gillenframework.com, you see home, but if we put this bad version, you'll see this HQME. So this is uh, how the image comparison spec can help you in your layout test. Um, <clears throat> so just go and check out the documentation uh, there are a lot of interesting things uh, like using multiple image multiple image samples stretching images uh, some area from the image and also other image filters like uh, blur here's the uh, the samples the blur the contrast saturation so for instance if you don't want to if you don't care about the color then you can just put saturation to zero. It will remove the color and the image will be gray. Um, so basically that's it. Uh, just, I encourage you to try it out. And uh, thanks for watching.